Hola a todos amigos, el día de hoy campeones viejos contra campeones nuevos, no los vamos a poner a competir como tal ya que es imposible, pero podemos ver de lo que eran capaces antes, claro en condiciones normales, traídas por los mejores jugadores del mundo, no todo eran pentakills, pero sí tenían muchas buenas jugadas, algunos apenas siendo usados en competitivo y otros muy usados una de las menos usadas antiguamente Kale, que después pasó a ser una parte igualmente olvidada en el competitivo him, gonna dodge and heal, so he may stick around if he gets caught by the knockup of Cabochon, he's in trouble. He's gonna get caught out, he's gonna get on towards it, intervention goes down from Overpower, locks on towards him, Lonex gets on towards Salabar's not gonna be focused, Overpower will, oh, wow. one and Cabochon, oh my god, Overpower gets two down, Salabar clears it out, wow! He needs to connect, not gonna throw it Here's or follow it just yet, intervention's available, gonna get used, tower aggro's on Caps, he self-casts. Fnatic get two more. Ah, it's perfect for Fnatic. They get these fights that are... Might be right, but Jack, we saw Cogmore passive maximization, Karthus passive minimization. That was the decision that, again, it has been the Korean way. Looking for a catch here on Gragas. A lot of damage on an ink. That might just knock him down right here. He's waiting around with a stopwatch, and Tarzan gets the kill, gets some stacks back on. It's traded already by Kale, and now they go once again between the turrets. Griffin able to back up, but Rookie, he is running low, has to take the Kale, but they can re-engage on him. That could be a kill picked up. No. Oh my word, you've got to be kidding. He can't get it, Sword. And now Trovi could be pulled back, not quite, though. And it's still IG somehow. In the early game in the second half, Tilsen gets on out of there. Jackal's really trying to catch him. And desperately running forward, but there's not a lot of damage here. Nemesis is going to cut through him, but the ultimate now coming in. We'll be able to finish it off with the help of Jinx, but it's a one for one trade. Combo's the corner. That's a very strong KO. It does get taken down. Nemesis on the edge of death. He's going to manage to live. He's going to manage to Until it flashes forward. Once the reset takes a lot of damage, though, out comes the ultimate. Mordekaiser, sin duda, fue un campeón que marcó una época completa. Con esos tres golpes, era super característico su daño. Y pasó de un campeón de un solo combo a un campeón un poco más completo. De igual manera, este campeón nunca ha llegado a ser tan popular como lo fue el antiguo en el competitivo. ¿Cómo olvidar a ese legendario Mordekaiser ADC? Kasing, mm -hmm. who can't take more than two. Now, yeah. Another attempt in the bot lane, though. G4 trying to make the play flash time. They caught on Wanda. Oh, Do they have enough damage, though? The fleet is not hit. He's running, running, running for his life. Yarna gets a kill. Now as a Gragas goes, trying to wreak some havoc in the backside. Here comes Ryu. The action is just not done, Atlas says. <laughs> It's insane, man. Has yet another fight here as we move towards the top side. We've got the Death Realm coming in here as Kane has full mana, but the Death's Grasp is going to land. There's the flat from Ixu. A solo kill from Ixu on Crash with all that extra Jump. flash. Forward. Flash back. Gonna finish this one off. Another reset. Pop, pop. This time he doesn't get the buffer, but he doesn't even need it. Needs to walk out to safety, though. Oh, Death no! Realm. He can't do it! The Death Realm made sure he can't escape. 3 Z is going to be happy with that one. The whole team showing up, but Mordecai's are going to be the one to grab the shutdown. For Kylan, once again, fails to connect. Venus now running for his life. Crash trying to finish this one off. Blast Con sends oh. him back into the pen, and 3 Z's there to dunk him down. The alley oop. Coming in from the side of HKA. Sin duda Bolívar es el rework más nuevo de Riot Games. El antiguo apenas se veía. Un campeón súper simple de ejecutar, pero sin duda con un lugar en el corazón de muchos. El nuevo Bolívar nos trae combos mucho más espectaculares, como estás a punto de ver. De pasar de ser casi inexistente en el antiguo competitivo, a ser un campeón muy recurrente cuando está muy fuerte. Especially oh. given that there's not really magic resistance on the targets that Elise oh, is gunning for. You are correct. He's going for it. The ultimate is popped. Look at that damage coming out from the bear. He's going to take down Syndra. He's slowed by Cuvay, but I don't know if he wants a piece. Oh. However, still a pretty sizable lead here for Counter Logic Gaming as they look to make even more plays smoothly going forward. Not going to find the dredge line on to FBI, but ladies and gentlemen, Poe Belter coming around from the side. He is notorious. He is glorious. 
And Counter Logic Gaming is going deep behind enemy lines. Who he's tanking up, but he's going right back into the fight. These CLG meatballs cannot be squashed. Look at this dog pile. It is a double kill for Ruin. And they will clean up four. They will take a turret. And they will march over the barrier. Should be the last team fight as Pioshik is tanking for quite a long time. Subjugate onto the Volley Bear is very valuable, but not valuable enough, as you can see. As in goes Doran. He's looking to get onto Ghost, but Ghost just walks oh, right past him. He killed and now, yeah, so many, but then he misses Viper. He's going to flash on in. I think he might still be able to get this kill. Over the wall goes Viper. Cosmic Radiance is going to be perfectly timed as Keen will go down, but that's a massive knockoff into the back line. And here comes Big Boy Volley Bear. As over the wall will go Doo Doo. He will survive. Your teammates, especially. They're going in. Yeah. They're not wasting any time as the Thunderstorm is down. But Teddy desperately trying to kite it out, but he cannot. And finally, the rest of the T1 is going to come in. But the Ash getting so much value. So on, though. Kind of baiting his team into this one. Kana in the back line, aiming in the front. is just going to get blown up. As now Fano yeah, can't I... do it alone. The triple kill goes to Cuz, who is untouchable. Si lo pueden intentar buscar el dragón que se va a morir ahí está. Se lo va a quedar ese Kagami ya tienen alma de nube. Y fíjate, fíjate, es que no han empezado y ya está muy tocado la última de límite es una locura ahora mismo. Dos que se mete medio de todo el mundo. No sirve para nada. La patada de Razor ahí intenta apartar al equipo rival de encima, pero va a ser complicado. Fíjate lo que corre Bolivar y junto con Trick van a darle carta. Doble kill para el oso. Cuidado con Kobe. Ha pegado una locura. Dandan que se mete en medio de todo el mundo ahí también. Va a ser cuadra kill para Genax. Ojo con el oso, Skyn. Se ponía fuerte, lo decíamos. Y de para acabar, veamos a Pantheon. Este legendario guerrero nos acompaña con esas ultimates que siguen siendo igual de características en su versión actual. En esta ocasión Pantheon protagonizando robos y kills muy tempranas con una esencia muy, muy parecida. Test this. Very early, Ocean Drake is going to be very useful here for Griffin as Flawless Duet doesn't land. The man drop is coming in. The dragon is stolen, but now the fight may also go the same way. The Pantheon grabs the first blood. Viper is well and truly dead, and the LPL in game number three have finally wow. come alive. Double kill for Doimbi. A blink of an eye level one they own this even though it should be griffin's right based on map geography so wow. hard to play against this oh, yeah. the man drop coming in once again tarzan able to get out of the way but doiby so far forward the cask is good and that is two real easy kills and they're both on the pantheon keeping up with olaf after having his red and raptors are uh, jungle and what okay <laughs> hold on a okay second. time get your empowered queue let's let's see if this is what he does here so Someday uses his E. Yep. You can see he gets the empowered W. He gets the normal Q off. And then he autos again and gets his empowered Q off. So, Niski trying to trade there with Ika, throwing out the wind wall to try to block a spear in trade, but Niski wisely saving it till afterwards. Finding a Woo! really good trade onto Ika here. Ignite dropped down. Nicely done. Solo kill for Niski. Y bueno gente, esto fue todo por esta ocasión, ojalá les haya gustado el video. Dime, ¿te gustaría ver en esta sección otros campeones? Déjalo aquí abajo en los comentarios, los estaré leyendo. Nos vemos en la siguiente, ya sabes, puedes ver alguno de los videos que te aparecerán a continuación y nos vemos en la siguiente. Adiós a todos.